What's up, fellas? Your boy Darkel, man. Coming to another informative video, man. So today we're gonna be talking about Maybach. I had a request from one of the guys on the comments. He wanted to know some specifics, requirements, and stuff like that to work at Maybach. So we're gonna we're gonna get into that. So with Maybach, as far as I know, and I don't think it's changed, to be an owner operator in Maybach, you have to have at least one year with your one year with a clean CDL, one year with your license clean. Driving records, obviously, like everywhere else. You know, if you have a banged up driving record, it's gonna be like every other company. Now, Maybach is more lenient than other companies, but if you got a bad driving record, it's gonna be tough to get you into any company, you know what I'm saying? All right, so a year to get in as an owner operator, to lease a truck through Maybach, or to rent a truck through Maybach, all you need to do is have at least a year. They prefer two years, but at least a year with your clean CDL, okay? You gotta have tankers endorsement. That's that. We don't do no hazmat loads. You got a hazmat, great. You ain't gonna be doing hazmat loads here because maybe I don't do hazmat loads. But you definitely gotta have your tankers endorsement. That's very important. All right, so that's that's what that is. And um, okay, as far as money, like like deduction. So when you're an owner operator at Maybach, you get two choices. You're either gonna get on the 20, the, the cash 22, that's what they call it, or the 12%. All right, so if you do the cash 22, let's say you're renting a truck from Maybach. Let's say, you know, saying, or, you know, whether, you know, if you're renting a truck from Maybach, basically you'll pay the rent. What's going to come out of your check is going to be 22% off the gross. 22% your fuel, your tolls, and your truck rental. That's it. That's it. That's why it's a very popular one. It's 22%. And then you pay what owner operators always pay, which is your tolls and your fuel. You know what I'm saying? And then obviously the truck rental. So that's a very popular one. The one that usually guys that own their trucks, they go with the 12%, especially if they own their trailer, because you can come to Maybach with your trailer as well. Now, if you don't have a trailer and you're renting both truck and trailer for Maybach, they do the cash 22, because the cash 22, like I said, 22% fuel, tow, truck rental, that's it. The 22% includes trailer rental. Now, let's say you're coming with your truck or you're renting or leasing from Maybach a truck, but you want to do 12% instead of the cash 22. So what's going to come out of your check is going to be the 12% of the growth. They're going to take out 250 for fee off uh, for trailer, 250 for insurance. You know what I'm saying? And then the gas. You know, but not the guy with the fuel and tolls, and then the rental. Or if you own your truck, just that. You know what I'm saying? The 12% is more popular for those guys that have their own trucks paid off and you know, they're just gonna rent a trailer and pay insurance. They pay 500 bucks and the, 20, and the 12%. If you're rent, if you don't own a trailer, I highly recommend the 22%. The 22%, you know, you, you know, even if you own like me, look, I'm gonna tell you guys right now straight up. I have my trucks, I don't own trailers. I own my trucks, but I don't own trailers. I do the cash 22 because I just like the feeling of knowing that it's just 22%, that's it, 22%, no trailer, no, it's just all included. I pay my 22%, I pay my fuel, my tolls, that's it. Now, you know what I'm saying, um, it's just, as far as like background checks, if you got a criminal background, I haven't heard of Maybach being to a point where they don't hire guys because they have past criminal offenses and stuff like that. Like I said, they're they're very understanding. They're good people. Now, if you're a freaking, if you if you got like multiple multiple like 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 charges on, on theft and all these things, then obviously they're gonna look into that. But I don't think Maybach, like some of these companies, that says you gotta have a clean record. You know what I'm saying they're very, you know, they're very understanding. You know what I'm saying? They're very understanding. So yeah, man. I mean. I, I personally, you know, another another thing, guys. Let me make it clear about the twelve and the twenty-two percent. What what people don't benefit the twenty-two percent. So the middle mark for the twelve and the twenty-two percent, it's a five thousand dollar mark. Me, I'm a driver that just does two trips a week. I go up and down. You know, if you guys watch my videos, I go to North Carolina or South Carolina and back to Florida. I do that twice a week. That's it. I'm always in the range. Of 49 to 55. Now, when I go out there, you're gonna get over the 6,000. You can make 6,000 higher in the sevens or even eight grand a week. You're gonna make that money. If your driver is gonna be out there looking to get that money, okay, and you know that you can always be making six grand or above, 
I highly recommend that you go with the 20, with, with the 12%. Why? Because if you do the math, and you guys can do the math, if you make $6,000 and then you take a job that's on 22% and 12%, the guy that that's paying 12% is going to bring home more because it doesn't benefit you to get on the 22% if you're making a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? If you're one of those jobs that's going out there, like if you're a job that stays out two weeks at a time, stay away from the 22% because you're going to be making bread. You're going to be making anywhere from 65 to 8,000 a week and it's not going to benefit you to do uh, 22%. You're better off paying the 12% and paying the 5 and 5. I mean, paying the 500, you know, 250 for trailer, 250 for trailer. Now, if you own your trailer, you go to Maybach, then all you're paying, then definitely do the 12% because all you're paying is 250 for insurance, fuel and tolls. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's that, you know what I'm saying? As far as fuel, we can only fuel with, May with a Maybach fuel card. You can only fuel in Pilots and Flying J's. Now they do have they do have a program where you can give them, I think it's a thousand dollars down payment, like a deposit, and they'll give you a fuel card where you can fuel in other places. But you know me, I just have the fuel card for Maybach, which is Pilot and Flying J, but I also have my TCS fuel card, which I recommend to everybody. Look that up, TCS fuel card. You get the card free, you load up your own money, you can do it through your bank, through Western Union, or however you decide all the instructions are there, TCS fuel card. That's, I have that card as well. So if I want to fuel at a TA or a Loves or one of these little mom and pops, you can use that. With the Maybach card, you're only able to fuel and pilot the flying J. Now, I do believe there is a fuel surcharge. There, actually, there is a, a, a fuel surcharge. And it'll be on, uh, at the end of the video, I'll be putting a picture up with the phone number for you to call. Remember, this video is for owner operators. It's for owner operators. Company drivers is a whole different thing. And, I don't really know too much specs. You know, I did company for maybe like one month until I was waiting for, uh, how I used to lease a truck. I used to lease a uh, Cascadia. Like, I used to always lease new trucks. And I, I did company for them for like a month until I got my truck. So I know that they do, I know that company jars pay, get paid good money though. Company jars get like, depending on your experience, 50 to 60 cents a mile, maybe even more. So I know that they got good deals, but I know they got a lot of good deals for company jars, but this video is specifically for owner operators. So yes, this fuel surcharge, Pilots and Flying J with a thousand dollar deposit, you can fuel anywhere. Uh, if you if you know that you want to be home every weekend, I recommend the twenty two percent. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if you don't own a trailer, because you're gonna if you're home every weekend, you're probably gonna be in the range of you know fifty five to six grand, which the twenty two percent is less headache. But if you own your truck and you are gonna be out there, definitely do the twelve percent. So uh, so let me see. So we covered the background checks. You know, driving record, they, you know, obviously wherever you go, you got to have a clean background record. Tolls. Maybach gives you a best pass, which is for the way station, and then you get easy pass. They put those devices in your truck, you know what I'm saying, and those tolls come out weekly. You go through the tolls that week, at the end of the, when you get that statement, the tolls come out. Now, once a year, they're going to take out the, you know, the your, your physical, you know, your, your basically your box tail insurance and all that stuff. That comes out once a month depending on the price of your truck, you know what I'm saying? Now, plates, if you are an owner operating, you own a truck, or you, you're, or, or, you know, or you're leasing a truck from them, when you lease a truck from them, that's included, okay? Because that's their truck. But if you are an owner operator like me, that you own your trucks, you can get placed through Maybach, but they're never yours, okay? You gotta really, really this is very important, owner operators out there that are watching this. If you own your truck, and you don't have plates, Maybach will do everything for you. That's what I do. Your boy don't care. Listen, I did that before going to Tallahassee to get, you know, at the end of the day, after you pay for if that you pay for the 2290 and all that stuff, you're, you're coming out of pocket about two grand. Maybach is gonna charge you 2350, but they save you the headache of having to go and do all that crap. You know what I'm saying? You literally send them a copy of your title, boom. Now the plates are rented, they're never yours. So if you pay that money and then you leave Maybach, you're not getting that money back. You know, so, and you gotta give the place back. That is the thing. So they do give you the option. If you wanna get the place on your own, go get them on your own. Not a problem. My uncle did that when he was at Maybach. Yeah, he always got his own place because, you know, he was always moving his trucks around. Me, I don't, I ain't going nowhere. My pockets stay fat at Maybach, so I'm staying right here. And I let them do that for me. I don't, I don't ever gotta worry about IFTA. I don't ever gotta worry about going to DMV or 2290. They call me, I tell them, get it done, they get it done. Boom, done. So I pay $23.50 a year for my place, and I'm okay with that, because they do it all for you. They're always updating your folders. They do like you to come in quarterly to the office. Now, when you own your own truck, you don't have to, 
But if you're renting or leasing from them, you will be at house at quarterly so they can do a DOT inspection that they pay for. Okay? That's that. So if you have if you're an operator, you where your bank is not really right. You know, I know sometimes guys get worried, oh, what if I have a breakdown on the side of the road? Maybe it's not gonna leave you stranded. They're not gonna leave you stranded. You know what I'm saying? If you go out there and you're working for Maybach and you're working, they see that you work, you have a breakdown, they're gonna help you. They're gonna get you rolling and they'll put you on a payment plan. If it's not a lot, they'll take it out. But if, if it's like a big fix, they'll put you on a payment plan. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta, gotta get in contact with the accounting department. But uh, Maybach is, uh, look, I highly recommend Maybach. I've been, you know, I, I, was, I started with Snyder as a company driver. I did Intermodal and I did IC with them. Which means I, you know, I was the owner operator at Snyder where I was booking my own loads and all that. I also worked for my uncle's company for a couple of months where I was doing everything. It was a family, you know, we do have our own authority. Imagine my company, we have our own authority and I choose to be a Maybach. I dealt with that. Now some guys, they like the headaches. I swear to God, I swear all this wet beer came from them and dealing with the brokers and just booking loads and loads canceling and the bidding and dealing with the factory company. And listen, I pay Maybach their percentage and I just drive. I have a great relationship with my dispatcher, the Count Drascola. His name is Mike, but I call him the Count Drascola. And him and me, we got a relationship. I let him do his job, I do my job. He knows where I do, where I go and where I don't go. He knows I want to be home on the weekends. That's that. I do my job. I'm a driver, I drive. He's a dispatcher, he dispatches. And that's how I do it. One hand washes the other, man. I don't be sit here and put him in corner and say, I don't be turning loads down. I trust my dispatcher. Not only is he my dispatcher, he's my boy. I've been with Maybach for years. And I thank God that I got a dispatcher like him. His whole team is great. You know what I'm saying? But all Maybach teams are good. So that's what it is, man. You know, there is no forced dispatch here. When you're an owner-operator, it is not forced dispatch. They call you. They offer you loads. You take them or you don't take them. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't want to deal, you don't really care, you just tell them, I'm willing to go where the money is. They're going to send you where the money is. Now, if you have places you don't like going, <coughs> Excuse me. Like a lot of guys, they won't go into New York. They don't like going to Northeast. Period. You know what I'm saying? You got guys that don't go to Cali. You got those guys that they don't go like all the way to Washington and stuff like that or up to Iowa. You know, you got those guys like me that stay just in the little Southeast region. You know what I'm saying? You just tell them what you want, where you want to go, where you don't want to go, and they will get it done. You know, I, I've you know I've heard about people that are in companies. You tell them, I don't go here, I don't go there. They're always trying to force you to go there. It doesn't work like that. These people will send you where you want to go. Now, if you want to make the big bucks, tell them something where the money's at. We have a lot of U.S. mail um, accounts. Let me tell you, if you guys don't mind going up into Minnesota, we have the key solution run that is paid real good money. We have USPS runs. You know, I, we just started doing Amazon again. We have a lot, a lot of accounts, you know, like me. I'm on that QuietFlex account that comes out of Groveland. I'm telling you guys, Maybach is a place to be. Good people, they're gonna let you work and they're gonna help you out. They're not gonna be stranded. If you're an operator, you own your truck, you're out here, you don't have to worry about it. You break down and you're stranded. Listen, they will take care of you. You guys square up, you know what I'm saying? And they'll do a payment plan for you. You're gonna be working for real good people and not just the dispatchers, in the office. You know, everyone's very understanding, you know what I'm saying? And they're straight up. There's no bullshit. They're straight up people. You know, they you know ain't no beating around the bush or lying. And they don't. One thing about maybe that I know, they don't play with your money. These people do not play with your money. Let me tell you, I left Maybach for a couple of months ago to a company named MIT. Cause I was gonna try doing. They were out, they were right there out of out of out of Orlando. And those people played with my money every freaking chance they got. I don't even think they're around anymore. Davis Carl, I think they're gone. All right. And I'm going to turn on Maybach. One thing I can tell you that I can test you is that they don't fuck with your money. Sorry, my language. They do not pay with your money. They pay you your money. And if you come into an agreement with them, if you had a break on those $1,500 and they had to give you an EFS $1,500, you're going to pay the little fee for whatever it is for the EFS code. But they're going to take care of you. You're going to get you rolling. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get you rolling. And you come to an agreement with them whether you want them to take it out in two payments, four payments, or you want them to take it out all in one shot. You work that out with them saying so that's what it is guys if you're an operator you're looking for a company where you could be home a lot and make good money listen i'm gonna i'm gonna be transparent with you guys and tell you what i do i went i went out just a couple weeks ago i went up to new all i did was go up to new hampshire came back to florida 7500 gross so do the math 7500 gross i spent what 1300 on fuel 
So I'll let you guys do the math. We watch the video. Seventy five hundred gross minus twenty two percent minus thirteen hundred on fuel. I probably spent a hundred dollars on tolls. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Because the twenty two percent covers the trailing insurance, everything. All right. So do the math, guys. You'll be making thousands of dollars now. That's where you go out there. And I, I literally, I don't. I, the only reason I'm really not going out like that right now is because of the winter. I've been doing this back and forth to the to stay away from the snow. But once the summer summer hits, your boy's gonna be back on that King Salusa. I'll be up in Minnesota. I'll be making that money in the summer. But when the winter hits, I'll be right here doing this back and forth. But right here, if you just wanna like me, if I leave on Mondays, I'm home Friday night. If I leave on Tuesdays, I'm home um, Friday morning. That's how it works. Okay. So basically. To be transparent with you right now, two trips out of Orlando, Groveland, or you know, Gro Groveland, Florida, which is such a Florida area, to North Carolina and back. Two trips a week. The average gross is about $5,400, okay? Out of those $5,400, my checks after paying, you know, my you know my 22% and paying my fuel, paying tolls, and then paying a little debt that I have because, you know, Maybach, I, I, am in, I am in debt with Maybach for breakdowns that they take care of me. They always take care of me. They're not gonna leave you, leave you stranded. My checks be like 2400 bucks, you know what I'm saying? Out of 5400 bucks. So, and that's, you know, so so think about it. I mean, 2400 bucks, you're working like four days a week. You're home three days. That's great money, man. At least for your boy, Dark it is. Now, you could be like my like my boy, he goes out there. And he gets home around Saturday night. So he'll be home Saturday night, Sunday. He'll deliver Monday, go back home, and then he'll leave on Tuesday. So he's home like three days. But that, that dude's bringing home you know 67 to 75 to 8 grand a week because you can make your money at Maybach I know the video is getting long guys but this video like I said is for an operative and it's very informative it's for guys that want to know there's a guy that wanted to you know if you guys wanted to know details of what it's like to be an owner operator at Maybach well here it is that's what it is you're going to have the freedom to go where you want you're not going to have no one harass you now if your truck is a 2000 or older you know what I'm saying or 2001 I think it is you are going to be on Samsara, on ELD. And that's one thing that I can tell you. If you are on an ELD truck, you are going to be on ELD. The same one of those companies where they're going to let you, before everyone did it. You know, Maybach is grown and Maybach, they're going to, they're going to, take, they're going to take care of you, but they're going to take care of themselves too. Because if they don't take care of themselves, of themselves, they can't take care of you. Okay? So they are very strict with their ELD policies. You know what I'm saying? You've got to follow ELD. Now, if you end up in a situation where you got to make it to a parking spot. You were held up on a ship or a receiver and you ran out of clock and you don't have nowhere to park. They will give you PC to get to where you're going, but you can't abuse it. If you start abusing it, they'll call you in. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a truck, that's a new truck, you are going to be on Sam Sarah, which is ELD. That's why you boy Dark Hill right here. I stay with 99 below. This classic is a 95. My other century is a 2000 and then the other one's a 99. I don't mess with them with them ELD trucks, man, because I, I want to be able to run and make money. Even though, I don't really drive more than nine to ten hours a day. I don't. But shit happens out here. You guys know. You can get caught up at a, at a customer, a receiver, a shipper, and you lose hours. I like to sleep when I want to sleep and drive when I want to drive. So I love. It. So if you guys got all the truck, you're gonna love it at Maybach. You're gonna be able to keep trucking that. No, nothing plugged up. Just you'll be doing keep trucking, but you know it's paper log. That's what it is, guys. Guys, hopefully this was helpful. You know what I'm saying? If you guys got any other questions. Just hit me up in the comments. Anything that I didn't answer, just let me know. And I'll be more than happy to make another video to let you guys know what's up. That's what it is, man. If you guys want to make money, come to Maybach where your pockets stay fast. For now, I'm going to keep rolling with Maybach. I'm about to uh, light up because you know your boy Darkel loves some cigars. Cigar day keeps that stress away, man. That's what it is. If you like this video, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. It's all good. It's all love, man. I'll catch you guys here on the road. When you see that night coming through, it's Maybach, baby. That's how we do it.